Our first guest tonight is CNN's chief White House correspondent and anchor of The Lead and State of the Union. His six-part series, The United States of Scandal, premieres this Sunday on CNN. Let's take a look. Well, I wasn't hiding any of it, but these were because it's legal, and that's how you govern. Abraham Lincoln was able to get the 13th Amendment passed in Congress, which ratified the Emancipation Proclamation freeing slaves. He had to make political deals with members of Congress to get the votes to pass it. That's how you get things done. You're not comparing yourself to Abraham Lincoln? By no Lincoln. means, and okay. please say that. I'm not comparing You're not myself comparing to Abraham Lincoln. You're not comparing the Emancipation Lincoln. Proclamation. Okay, He's right. a lot taller than me, and I never did anything as great as that. But you're also not talking about the, I mean, the Emancipation Of course I'm not. Please welcome back to the show our friend Jake Tapper, everybody. Welcome back. How nice. are you? I'm great. It's I'm great. so nice of you to be with us on Valentine's Day. Well, you know how I feel about you. <laughs> I feel the same. You are going to make it home tonight. You will see uh, uh, your beautiful wife this evening. Actually, <laughs> yes, I will make it home. All I will right. make it. And we've been married for several years now. Yeah, so I can, can do a, can we do Valentine's Day the on, next day. on Friday? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Friday's always a better Valentine's Day. It is day a better Valentine's than Day. Then it's Tuesday, yeah. or whatever day this is. Yeah. yeah, well, now it's Wednesday. Yeah, you're, uh, Is today Wednesday? It is. You're doing... Even you know, for better. A, for a newsman, you're not really <laughs> locked in on what day it is. Well, your show <laughs> tapes during my show, so I actually had to take off from my show yeah. to do your show. That's amazing. That's why I don't know what day it yeah, is. Yeah, okay, I'm going to let you off the hook here. Thank you, I appreciate um, it. Uh, so one of the things uh, that happened this week, uh, there was now a successful, it took two tries, but uh, uh, Secretary Mayorkas uh, was impeached yes. by the House. It's going to go nowhere in the Senate. Nowhere. The House knows that. Yes. They did it anyway. They did. And why? Why? <laughs> What's going on, Jake? I think that they wanted to make a political point. Do you feel like it lands with their voters when they make these political points where nothing actually happens? I hope so, because I don't know why they're doing it yeah. otherwise. I mean, it, it does, it's, I mean, if you're going to impeach somebody... First of all, we should just note, like, if you have an issue with the policy at the border, the issue is really with President Biden. Yes. Because he sets the policy. Mayorkas carries it out. Yes, right, because there's no accusations that Mayorkas is using his position to enrich himself. No. There's no grift. There's... You know the last time this was done, a cabinet secretary was impeached? I think you probably do. You've probably met About 150 it. years ago. Yeah. B William Belknap. Yeah. The Secretary of War. Yeah. I think that's what he was. There you go. That's what they called it back then. Yeah, they, they, they were, were like, this is bad branding. Yeah, this is, that was a lot more honest, yeah. the Secretary of War. Nobody wants to meet with the Secretary of War. <laughs> right. They were a lot more honest back then, weren't they? They were a lot more honest. The <laughs> yeah. good old days, as yeah, the you good like old... to call them. Yeah, the good old. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is a house uh, that was literally getting nothing done. It is the least productive Congress since the Great Depression. And it does not strike me that they're upset about that. It feels like no. this is 100% the plan. They, they really do seem to enjoy it. Yeah. You know, there was the whole thing that happened with the foreign aid bill. Yep. Where the Senate Republicans demanded they add border measures to it. So these three senators worked really hard to come up with a compromise bill. And then they said no. And then uh, the people in the House of Representatives said, I mean, it's just, you know, we want, we, we will only pass this if it has the border security measures. And the people that had worked on it said, yes, we, but you said no. Anyway, it's just a chaotic situation. It's not fun to explain it. It's actually confu it's it's confusing. It's confusing. It's confusing because... They're a confusing bunch of loons. You know, do you do the New York Times news quiz? Uh, yeah, I do. So the New York Times news quiz last week had a question, what did Republicans demand be added to the foreign aid bill? Right. And I know they wanted me to answer border protections, but I don't think that that's... Oh, you had an issue with the word want. Yeah, I don't know what they want, and I don't think they know what they want. <laughs> so I'm calling out the New York Times <laughs> news quiz. That's fake. You think an option should have been they want of nothing. They are nihilists who <laughs> serve only to destroy the fabric of this nation. Exactly. Yeah. Or not that necessarily, but... I, I, I think that's pretty good. I, came, off, came up with off the top of your head, I think it's pretty that's good. The, that is pretty good off the top of your head. I will say... They don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. Is probably. the correct answer. Or so what fake they want, I got a better word. They want yeah. whatever Donald Trump wants. Isn't that what's happening? They wait, and then he tells them what they are supposed to want. I guess, but is that really wanting it? Or is that want, they this want is to Donald Trump I to I feel be like we're having a very weird Valentine's Day conversation. 
I feel like right tonight there's gonna be a couple somewhere in New York City and you're gonna over here be like, but is that want, Barbara? <laughs> is what you're saying even want, Barbara? <laughs> you have a wonderful new series, six episodes, The United States of Scandal. Who's Barbara? And these are, I don't know. <laughs> Barbara is someone. I mean, I, my wife is Barbara Jennifer. Barbara is telling Keith some very bad news tonight. My wife is Jennifer. Your wife is Alexi, and I'm just wondering who is Barbara in, all, Barbara? Of, in all this. Barbara is. I always just try to find a name as far away from Alexi. <laughs> oh, that's good. I never wanted to think I'm projecting. So you go from. So you go from A to B. Yeah, exactly. Nice. <laughs> That'll get her off the track. That'll get her <laughs> off the track. <laughs> oh sure. <laughs> oh. Round of applause. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've never heard the expression A to B before. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm spinning this nihilism thing, and you're all like. <laughs> that was very good. That oh, was very stop good. Stop it. <laughs> oh, you're being such a Barbara. <laughs> you, you know what? So the interesting thing, these are real scandals. Yes. That we paid a lot of attention to at the time. Yes. Uh, Blagojevich, yes. uh, Sanford, John Edwards. Yeah. This is sort of also my... Spitzer. Yeah, these are a heyday of my time at SNL. Yeah. Where it all seemed a little bit more fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, and again, they're serious things. A lot of people, you know, they had to step down and, and very Marriages few... Marriages destroyed, Very careers. few of these are, yeah. are grift-related. A lot of them are trying... John Edwards was running for president <laughs> and was trying to hide a pregnant girlfriend at the same time. He was, indeed, simultaneous to running for president. That's the most amazing thing out of all of it, is that he was trying to, while, you know, while having this girlfriend, uh, who, by the way, I've learned you don't use the word mistress, and I appreciate that you knew, yep. you knew that I as well. I did know that, yeah. yeah. Uh, he had this girlfriend who was pregnant with his child while also being married with a family and running for president, trying to get yeah. away with it and to have an aide. You remember this? He had an aide claim that the baby was his, a married aide. Yeah. A married aide named it's, Andrew Young. Wait, it's what a, a good, I will say that is a real loyal uh, employee. Yeah. <laughs> but that's also like the triple axle of scandals. I yeah. mean, like, I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it while I'm running for president. Yeah. The other guys were just governors. Yeah. And then you can get away with anything when you're governor. Was it Mark Sanford who said he was uh, hiking the Appalachian, Appalachian Trail? Trail? Yeah. I yeah. mean, these are incredible. And I will say, Blagojevich is one of my favorite. And uh, thank you very much. You did use a clip. Of course. Uh, from Weekend Update. Of course. Although I do have an issue with it. Let's uh -oh. show the clip real quick. Okay. The hair. So iconic in its own right that it became a comedy staple on every late night show. The hair. The hair. Really? It looks like you're wearing a toupee that's also wearing a toupee. <laughs> What's the issue? I also had jokes in that. <laughs> I said he looks like a Fisher Price man who's wearing his hair backwards. Amy's joke was better. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. But were you had were you head writer at the time? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it's both. It's a yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like Greta Gerwig getting nominated for best screenplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, it's that. And then getting stiffed for director. <laughs> I took off from work to be here today. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, this is actually a, a real uh, impressive thing uh, that you did. Uh, C.J. Rice, this was a, an Atlantic cover story. Uh, you wrote about someone who was uh, wrongly convicted uh, yeah. for a crime. Patient, a former patient of my father's. My dad's a pediatrician. And uh, you wrote this piece that led to him uh, getting exonerated. I don't know how much the piece had anything to do with what happened, but his conviction has been overturned. Uh, uh, that must, uh, in this day and age, where again, it, you know, it does feel like so little is being done you, and sometimes when you, when you report on it, when you make jokes about it, you're like, is any of this helping Is anybody at all? paying attention? Is anybody, is anybody is, is reading this? this? Yeah. It does, it, whether it led to it or not, it must have been nice to say, hey, this is a thing that was wrong, and now see the world basically say, you're right, uh, we, can, we can make this better. It was gratifying uh, because uh, it was such an injustice. Uh, if, in addition to the fact that CJ could not have committed this crime, my dad was his doctor, and he had been shot a few weeks before and could barely walk, much less run and commit this crime. Um, beyond that uh, is the fact that he had the most incompetent attorney, attorney I've ever heard of. She's dead, so she won't be offended. And yeah. um, uh, worse than offended. <laughs> I'd rather be offended personally. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Um, but uh, and and it's very rare in this system of quote unquote justice that we have that a court will step in and say yes, that's an incompetent attorney. Usually, courts say 
even if the person, even if the, the lawyer was drunk, asleep, insane, or a criminal him or herself. That's called the full uh, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> And these are really, like, we didn't rehearse any of this. Like, yeah, this yeah. Is just, I mean, we're really good. This is why you get the I mean, this bucks. is why. I, 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 well, uh, neither of our uh, Valentine's Day dinners are going to be this hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barbara. Oh, Barbara. Um, Barbara is actually <laughs> our code word for each other. <laughs> well, Barbara, it's been great having you. This is Barbara, everybody. <laughs> the United States of Scandal premieres on CNN this Sunday, February 18th at 9 p.m. Stick around. We'll be right back with Chelsea Peretti.